Sunday's damaging winds left behind destruction and the winds are already making their way back here to the borderlands. Many families impacted by those winds. El Paso companies also being put into overdrive. ABC 7 Sarah Coria spoke with roofing companies about the demand they've seen because of those winds. She joins us live now, Sarah. Well, Stephanie, Eric, winds tore through El Paso, damaging properties all throughout the city, leaving residents calling in roofers to help secure their home, an urgent plea before this week's winds add to the current destruction. Right now is definitely the busiest we've been. Just so many roof damage out there. Close to 200 phone calls from all parts of town. Strong winds hit the borderlands Sunday. The gusts blowing powerfully for the second time in less than a week. I mean, this is as busy as we've been for over a year. The damaging winds hit everything from power lines to trees, trampolines, and of course, borderland roofs. You could just hear the wind outside just blowing around. The dust was kind of just wild. While the winds have calmed down, they're already set to make their return. We had over 100 calls. Um, just trying to reach to as many as we can as the winds kind of pick up again coming the next week. We got hundreds of phone calls all the way from the upper valley to Socorro. Many, many homeowners are without roofs right now. Businesses weren't spared from the winds either. The whole roof got blown away by the wind over the weekend. Um, this is a plasma center, which is very, very busy, so we need to get moving on this. How long will this job take? about four to five days. With winds returning, roofing companies are working overtime to help at-risk residents prepare, prioritizing by severity. We're working from, you know, as early in the morning as we can till it pretty much gets dark out. We don't have that much time, so yeah, we need to move quick. We're after hours working, uh, cleaning up the debris and, and securing the roofs. And Luna with our all RL roofing adds in order to avoid future wind damage to make sure to have your roof inspected yearly by a licensed professional and of course keep up with roof maintenance. Sarah Coria, ABC 7. All right, Sarah.